Yannick and Anna, Steph and Paula, Gail and Alina, Katie and Alex. These tennis power couples are making headlines. We're running through them all and showing you the recent study on their Instagram earning potential. Plus, it's weekend one at Roland Garros. We've got your Saturday match preview. The break starts right now. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Guy. You are watching The Break. 2024 is the year of the tennis power couple. With Yannick Sinner and Anna Kalinskaya recently going public with their relationship, we feel like this is the perfect opportunity to give you a refresher on the most popular couples in the sport. Kicking things off right, we've got Tsitsi Dosa. Stefano Tsitsipas and Paula Bedosa went public on their relationship exactly one year ago, and they did so on Spotify. Steph and Paula updated their Spotify profile pictures to feature selfies with one another. Shortly after that, they went public, and we've been getting cute and corny content ever since. You can catch Steph and Paula in the Roland Garros mixed doubles draw, by the way. Real tennis fans know the original Tsitsi Dosa is Gems Life. Former world number six Gael Monfils and former world number three Alina Svitolina started a shared Instagram account in 2019. They got married in July of 2021, had their daughter Sky in October of 2022, and remained the king and queen of modern tennis romance. We've been shipping Katie Bolter and Alex Di Menar since they became official in 2020. Alex shared earlier this year that Katie initially shot down his request for a date, but I guess persistence pays off as they've celebrated the four-year mark in March. And the newest tennis couple on everyone's mind, Yannick Sinner and Anna Kalinskaya. A hawk-eyed fan spotted Anna calling Sinner's phone while he was taking a photo with a fan in Monte Carlo. Now, they tried to keep it under wraps, but it wasn't long before Yannick went public with the relationship at Roland Garros, saying, I don't like to talk about my private life much, but yes, Anna and I are dating. Now, something tells me Yannick and Anna won't start a shared Instagram account. Just a hunch. Now, a shared Instagram might be a wise decision, though. A recent study by King Casino Bonus UK calculated the earning potential of these big name couples. Steph and Paula at the top of the list with a combined earning potential of $22,000 per post. Alina and Gail came in second with $21,000 per post, and Yannick and Anna ranked third with a potential payday of $19,800 per post. I guess love doesn't mean nothing after all. Oops, sorry, I had to do it. Third round action rolls on at Roland Garros. We're hoping for dry weather on Saturday. Here are the matches you don't want to miss. Novak Djokovic will face Lorenzo Musetti in a rematch of their 2021 fourth round encounter. Remember, Musetti was up two sets to love on Novak before running out of gas in the fifth set. He got revenge in Monte Carlo in 2023 and will look to challenge the top seed on Saturday in Paris. Daniil Medvedev will face 34th ranked Tomas Mahach for a spot in the last 16. Kaspar Ruud comes back after an epic five set win in the second round to face Thomas Martin Echeverri of Argentina. And American Peyton Stearns will square off against Mira Andriva. Both are seeking their first Roland Garros fourth round appearance. Live coverage from Roland Garros begins daily at 5 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see you tomorrow.